Ladies and gentlemen, this is your pilot speaking. My name is Ceno and today I have a Porsche Panamera Turbo for you. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Let's start off this review with one of the main reasons to buy this Porsche Panamera Turbo and this is the price. Back in 2018 when it was packed by one of Michael Schumacher's family members, yes you heard me right, it was as an almost full spec around 220,000 euros. Now you can get your hands on one with around 30,000 kilometers on the clock for 100,000 euros. Now that's what I call a very good price. In a typical Porsche fashion, you have plenty of different engines to choose from. This one is my absolute favorite and it is the Porsche Panamera Turbo. It comes with a 4-liter twin-turbo V8 packing 550 horsepower and whopping 770 Nm of torque. According to Porsche, it should sprint from 0 to 100 km an hour in 3.6 seconds. Pretty impressive for a 2-ton luxury limousine. The bonnet, the wings, the doors and the tailgate are all made out of aluminium to help lower the total weight of the car down. The rear is where this car excels the most for me. You get this super nice signature 911 3D taillights combined with the 3D Porsche badge and they're connected together with that light strip. And one of my favorite features of this car is that transformer style rear spoiler and also the quad exhaust. Do you remember that this is my favorite model from the Panamera lineup? Well, the exhaust is maybe one of the reasons why. Let's take a listen of how this car sounds. Absolutely amazing! You can probably tell that there is a rev limiter, but that's normal due to EU regulations. Still, it sounds super, super nice, even though that's only 3000 RPM. So you can imagine what that's going to be at the higher RPMs. The hatchback makes it very easy to load almost anything in that car. However, bear in mind that slopey tailgate won't let you close it with the very tall items. There's also an option to push the rear seats straight from the back. However, it is quite the stretch in order to do it successfully. <laughs> <laughs> the interior of the Porsche Panamera Turbo doesn't disappoint either. Everything is made out of very high quality materials. Everything you touch feels super, super nice. You get this 18 ways electrically operated and heated and cooled with memory function seats. And in a typical Porsche fashion, they are seating nice and low with a very driver oriented feel. The steering wheel is super nice covered in leather with this floating 3D design and also the rotary knob that controls the different driving modes. Up in the front you have here the central analog rev counter surrounded about these two beautiful digital driver displays which can be easily controlled by the buttons on the steering wheel for various functions. Moving to the infotainment system it is very nice, bright and very responsive. However, it might be a slightly bit of a faff and difficult to control it while driving because of the small items you have here. The lack of physical buttons makes the interior very, very modern. However, it comes with its downsides. For example, in order to use the climate control vent direction, you have to dig down in the infotainment menu first. The central console utilizes this touch screen design and it is very nice however as soon as you turn the car off you are left with a scratchy greasy fingerprint marked gloss black surface and last but not least in a typical Porsche fashion you have plenty of different options to choose from and if you don't spec them you'll be left out with a central console with a lot of blank space not very cool the rear of the Porsche Panamera Turbo feels just as luxurious as in the front this seat is set to my driving position and as you can see I have plenty of knee room and headroom to sit. You can really rest out in the back of this car. Especially in this executive package you get the climate controls with the separate function here to make your life absolutely comfortable. You also get as an update option this super nice Porsche key that is molded in the shape of the car and you can paint it in the exact same color as the exterior. Very cool feature. There is also the modern features that you'd expect from a luxury car like this one, such as the Burmester high-end surround system, which of course you have to pay for, and the ambient lighting throughout surrounding some of the vents. Really, really nice ambience in general of this car. 
driving the Porsche Panamera Turbo immediately impresses you with something very unusual. And this is the seatbelt warning sound. It is that pleasant, just like on a very relaxed evening with some jazz on it. But let's get serious now, put the seatbelt on and drive this absolutely amazing luxury car. The first thing you've noticed about it is the Burmester high-end surround system, which you can completely submerge into the luxury of the money you've spent. The adjustable suspension deals absolutely amazing overall imperfections and bumps. The car is very well isolated, comfortable and truly quiet to drive. This is a very, very big luxury limousine and driving through town and narrow streets feels absolutely scary because of the sizes of this vehicle. And it, you have no idea where your rims and wheels are, so there is that possibility of scratching them. That said, however, this car, independently of where you drive it in normal or comfort or sport, it is super well balanced. The steering is very sharp and precise. The suspension is firm but very well composed and that drive just feels great. And don't forget that you can put it in sport and feel that sound of the V8 engine. car is all about performance even though it's around two tons and you immediately forget that it is a true Porsche and you can feel it by the way this car handles twisty roads it doesn't matter if you put it on the highway and do loads and loads of miles or use it as we mentioned on a twisty road it can do everything in the best way possible and this is where it differentiates most from its competitors like the s-class the 7 series or the a8 if you're looking for that sporty car that won't let you down and still offers no compromises in luxury and performance then this is the car for you and for the price of around 100,000 euros it's a no-brainer it's another top tier Porsche product that I'm so happy to recommend good job Porsche and with that said thank you so much for watching guys if you like the channel and would like to support it just hit that like button and the subscribe so you see some of our next videos with that said thank you and I'm gonna see you on the next episode